Okay, I don't think that my late wife have heard this song, and I heard this so many times. Uh, but since uh, almost half, or mostly the whole country except California and parts of the West, is under a deep, 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 and I mean deep freeze at the or coming to in a moment. I think I can sing this song without literally crying. Anyway, yeah, there's only parts of uh, there's only a, a few others that my wife had played uh, all the time, but I don't think she played this one. Oh, the weather's outside is frightful, but I don't have no fire and it's not delightful. So since I have nowhere to go, what the heck? Let us know, let us know, let us know. Oh, I couldn't get no prep ready. Walmart said they told me no. And it's a car said I had to have a car. So let us know, let us know, let us know. I had to drink nasty tap water. That's all I had to do. And since I ate all my Sam's Club, all Christmas I'll be blue. So it's going to be like a blizzard. And maybe I'll turn into a lizard. But I hope I'll survive all of this. Let us know. What the heck? Let us know. Let us know. Yep. That's right. No, I didn't take take time writing in this, but I wanted to be funny. So, yeah. Oh, I got another song to sing. What? Here it here it goes. Ding dong, they are gone. They are gone. The police are gone. Ding dong, the police are gone. Wake up, you sleepy head. Get a, get a rise, get out of bed. They don't the bully park on. Now we can have fun again, again. And now we're on our way to having fun. They don't, they are gone. The bullies are gone. The bullies are gone. Let them know the bullies are gone. Yep, they are officially gone. And I'll talk about that. Plus, we 16 Christmas free predictions. And yes, more Saturday's games. I mean, what the cat is going on with the Saturday game? Oh, my God. But anyway, uh, yeah, so let's start with the storm prep situation. So my food stamp was able to come in even though I didn't uh, melt back on the farm because, A, I had to use the stamp for the postcard that I was so duly waiting to mail out. But left with four, four instead. So, yeah, I was left with four. 204, uh, 250 cards, and I was left with four. Go figure. Now we're in the middle of a dangerous storm. Okay. I had no food prep. Now, mind you, I usually go to Walmart delivery because Walmart is the only one that uses food stamps. I found out uh, from First Lady and Queen Irene that Instacart uh, used food stamps. But you still need a card for, uh, I guess, a dollar a dollar or something like that. But I didn't have a dollar. I mean, come on. I'm trying to get some food to prep for the store. But now, it's already at the time of this recording, it's already beginning to unfold. And they talking about some blizzard-like warning. But we only could have, like, between one to four inches of snow. Well, we'll see. But yet, the main story will be the bitterly, bitterly, bitterly dangerous cold. I mean, seven degrees, eight degrees for the high. Don't even talk to me about the wind chills. Okay. I mean, usually when they say, always say real feel, when they used to, oh, I used to hate that. That was a curse word for me. Every time they say real feel when it's cold or when it's hot, I was like, hey! hey!" Because my body can't take it now. Now look at it. My body can't even take it now. So. We'll see. The storm is already starting, I guess, because they said to start about here around 10 o'clock to 12 noon. At least in the area that I'm in. So we'll see. 
And it's definitely going to stick. Unfortunately, you do have the cold air. So. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, goodness gracious. But I have another bad news situation. But before I talk about that, I wasn't able to do no storm prep. Uh, I was trying to get extra food from food stamp. Wasn't able to get it because Walmart had no delivery until the 26th, which is after damn Christmas. In other words, I couldn't either order or, or when I was ordering online. They had no delivery dates, and yet they did have, like, pickup dates. But then you had to buy 10 you had to pay $10 for express delivery. $10. Dollars and then what if I, I couldn't trust paying them ten dollars for my life if they if the order was delayed because people are still out Christmas shopping. I couldn't trust them to pay ten dollars of my life if my life depended on it. What did do? What did do? And now because of that, I got to drink nasty tap water all weekend. Until I could, until I could get control of Walmart, so I could get me something to drink for that. Missing now, I got nothing good to drink on Christmas. Nothing good to drink on Christmas. I'm getting nothing to drink for Christmas this whole year. What bad? I'm getting a few food for Christmas. Cause 2022 was bad. Yeah, I don't think my wife heard that either. So I could think that without crying. But anyhow. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, thanks to the judge uh, who uh, promptly correct me. And he, he is one of my faithful listeners uh, of the program. He is the uh, uh, judge who's going to be promoted to chief justice of Big D Country. Uh, he told me that I made a small long shot. It wasn't the two that I'm about to uh, let you know about in a few minutes uh, that gave him the nightmare about uh, losing fantasy football. It was uh, one of the do- doctors, first ladies, uh, first lady and um, queen of Big D country's old, old uh, boyfriend who will remain na- nameless that he had the nightmare on. I was like, whoops, long shot. You know, when I was thinking about nightmares, I was literally thinking about those two bullies that are out of there. So, okay, where to next? Where to next? Where to next? Where to next? Oh, I don't know. What happened to our two hundred dollar raise? The cola is only giving me like part of the money that we needed to survive. I mean, I'm trying to move. Even though I didn't get the first choice apartment. Oh, 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 oh. Did I slip to say that? Yes, I didn't get my first choice apartment, though. Unless I get a hotel, a standard day hotel in March, or get enough money to do that, I won't be able to do that until September, October, because I'll have to work up the money now. Okay. I have to go back to my plan to invest in the real estate. I can't say the name because I'll butcher it that I want to do that uh, lets you invest for $500 to start and then uh, give increments of $50 when you're able to. But nonetheless, uh, and then I wanted to do, uh, and then I want to do uh, the uh, profit share that I'm into that is working. So, Oh boy, the scissors decision. Which one to put in first? But regardless, so I would also like to welcome a brand new officer uh, to the team, and I wasn't thinking, uh, but I would like to welcome uh, not only well, Big C is already the sheriff of Big D Country, but then the other night before the taping of this broadcast, I was like. Wait a minute. His wife is part of the uh, part of the crew. His wife is part of the second palace. Like, he's the sheriff. Uh, she's the sheriff's wife. Duh. Why not make her the chief of police? Duh, duh, duh. That's right. Uh, Big C's wife, Cheris, is now the chief 
of police in the, the country. And then, once again, Zach, you have done it again. You have done it again. I mean, podcast, I mean, podcast. Podfast has just said that the presentations will look fine. Uh, they they should be ready to go. I just have to send them to uh, the proper people that will, uh, uh, I guess, do the slide that the uh, put the catcher. I hope I mentioned that right. But uh, so Zach, bravo, bravo, you've done it again. Woohoo! The Secretary of Interior of Interior, Zach, man. I knew I had the right man for the job. Because they just sent me an email that told me congratulations on finishing so early. I mean, I wanted to beat the rush and I wanted to not, you know, be in, you know, go on tilt because there's some days that I get depressed, especially Christmas is going to be the worst. But nonetheless, got her done. They said it looked great. And you know what? Bravo. Bravo. Man, I picked the right man for the job. So, congratulations to uh, uh, Chief of Police uh, and Sheriff Wife uh, to, uh, Sheriff for being Chief of Police. And gra- congratulations for Secretary of Interior for doing a fine job on my presentation. Now I just had to get there on, on January 25th. Oh, God. But I got to survive today and this weekend! Help! I got to survive today and this weekend! All right, let's talk about the biggest story before we go into week 16. Like I said before, ding dong, they are gone. They have four whammies and ding dong, they are now gone. Whew, the bullies are gone. The bullies are gone. And I got to tell you, I can not believe what Dr. Irene was saying about they literally tried to take over GSP. And now they're going to try to take over the communication center and the house again. They're going to t- try to stay crap over there. Oh, yeah. Warning, Your Honor. They're going to try to take over the communication center and the house again. Meaning those two. Yoko. And not the not the good David. Not the, the, the good David, David Heller. But the bad David. The one that hangs around with Yoko all the time. So, uh, in Dr. Irene's great rant that had that great song in the beginning, I kind of wish I knew what that song was, uh, she detailed what uh, David and Yo- uh, Yoko have done uh, in the server. Uh, I watched both videos uh, within uh, GSP, and she always does a fine job in showing proof of everything. Uh, and so, when I was listening to the rant, and now... Also, uh, uh, also, Logan is also gone as well. But then, I hate to say this, even though I had a liking to both uh, the First Lady of Big D Country and the President of Big D Country, uh, Carla, Logan, like did Irene too, because I think she was explaining, Dr. Irene was explaining something one day, and then she used this Logan, yeah, she was playing about Yoko, uh, you know, seeing the girl, and and if he marries her, she had to pay. He had to pay ten thousand dollars for a visa, and then uh, so he he used uh, what if uh, Irene and Logan were to get married, and and then she had to pay ten thousand dollars for a visa, but still had to take care of Logan, even they had to take, get get a divorce. And I was like, Logan, Logan, really? I kind of still look good at forty nine. Yeah, I kind of still look good at 49. Logan? Logan? Anyway, anywho. But yeah, so, uh, I mean, they was trying to take over GSP, and now they're going to do the same thing at the communication center and the House of Games. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what their problem. They're never going to be professional game show hosts. And they're going to try to pull that crap on them. And then they try to bully their way out of it. Okay. And uh, Dr. Irene semi-retired uh, 
from owning uh, GSP, but she still take part in games. She has been sick. Uh, she's been in the hospital off and on, getting treatment for COVID. Uh, so uh, Nick and also Big C and also Carla are co-owners. And I just got my senior admin role back. So, but all the fight is GSP now. But uh, the fact of the matter is, why would they do something like that in the first place? And why would Logan go after the first lady of Big D country? I don't get it. I don't want it's going to be alone on Christmas. But then here's the thing. Why in the world would Yoko would turn on Carla? I mean, that did it for me. That really did it for me. Why would he, uh, why would he do that to Carla? And then also, you know, threaten Nick and then also threaten Dr. Irene for, uh, you know, kicking him out and everything like that, but she just told us, she confirmed it to us that uh, she's semi-retired. In other words, uh, Nick and um, Nick and Big C are co-owners, and also President Carla are co-owners of, uh, of uh, uh, GFP. But Dr. Irene does come around every once in a while. I mean, she, for good grief, goodness gracious. I mean, she even played at the hospital, you know, after a flare-up. She even showed us during one of the rants where she was in the hospital during when they called this game of Formula D, which I never played because those two, those two cancers were there. So, in the midst of all the uh, the bullying and everything, is like uh, uh, for complaints from, from from not only me but for other people in the server, they find uh, Dr. Ryan finally. Lay down the law, and they are officially God. Logan was just added to the mix when, uh, I can't believe Logan dad actually hit on Irene. Oh my God! Please, God, please, really, really. So, let me get this in all of the words. And the, the, like I can say, Doctor Irene has done a smashing, smashing job. I saw both uh, part one and part two ran. Uh, she should be a lawyer. I mean, I know she's a doctor, but she should be a lawyer. I mean, she gave great arguments for an opening and closing case. I mean, my land. Amazing job. Amazing job. So, uh, so finally, David, the bad David, not David Heller, not David Heller. He's the good one. He's the good one. I'm talking about the David that always hang out with stupid Yoko. Yeah, the one who rage quits. The ones who belittles people. Yell at people. Anyway. So, I'm going to do this in Vince McMahon style. Yoko and David! The bad David! Logan! Yeah! Fire! There you go. All right. Oh, now I got to get to week 16. And it's already been a big episode. I hope I can fit this in on YouTube. But I already pre-written down. Thursday night game. 715. Jets versus Jaguars. Jets will be the head. Jaguars will be the heart. Like I said before, here we go with all those Saturdays games. Oh, my God. 12 p.m. Ravens versus Atlanta. Ravens will be the head. Atlanta will be the heart. Lions versus Panthers. Lions head, Panthers heart. Chiefs versus Seahawks. Chiefs head, Seahawks heart. Okay. This was a hard game for me to pick. Okay. They're both going to be options because the state's been having a terrible year. And even early in the, in the season, they wanted the coach to be fired. I don't know if it hasn't happened yet. But two of the worst teams ever in the NFL right now, the Saints and the Brown, they're both options. Okay? They're both options. So that would be considered a, 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 that would be considered a draw. So Saints option, Browns option. Okay, Texas versus Titans. Titans will be the head. 
I mean, Texans will be the head, excuse me, long shot. Titans will be the heart. Bengals will be, now I started something new this year, and it's going to be ongoing, which is ride or dive picks, especially when there's a team that's playing an enemy team that I never pick here on the NFL pickup. So the Bengals will be the ride or die pick over the stupid pass. Giants, Vikings, Giants will be the head, Vikings will be the heart. Bills, the judge's favorite team. Bears, or the Bears. Guess what, John? The Bills will be the head, and the Bears will be the heart. Here's the 3 5 game. Okay? 49ers versus the most stupidest name in all of the NFL, the Commanders. So I had to pick the 49ers as a ride or die. 325, Eagles versus Cowboys. Cowboys would be the head, Eagles would be the heart. Raiders, Steelers. And I saw somebody one day doing the running small errands in an apartment in the elevator with a Steelers jacket. But unfortunately, they're in the heart situation in this uh, double down because the Raiders are one of my official team, along with the Chiefs and a couple of the Texans team. So it's going to be Raiders head, Steelers hearts. Sunday, Christmas game. I wonder if Santa's going to be in one of one, uh Christmas Eve games or the Christmas Day game. You never know. You never know. He's always watching. Anyway, 12 p.m. There's only one 12 p.m. game, and that is the Packers versus the Dolphins. Packers will be the head. Dolphins will be the heart. 3.30. Right or die pick is the Broncos over the stupid Rams who left St. Louis without a football team, meaning we have to go all the way to Kansas City just to see a game. All right. Another right or die. 7.20 p.m. that night, Christmas night. Rams. A right or die. Excuse me. Long shot. I can't talk straight. It's so cold. Right or die. Pick. Cardinals over old Tom Brady who can't seem to retire. That's why his wife left his, his big head. Cardinals over old Tom Brady. But now he has a new model girlfriend. Oh, God. Please. Stop. Stop. Stop making me jealous. He had a new model girlfriend. Stop making me jealous! And it's Patreon on Christmas. Okay. Monday, the 26th. That's when everything starts to reopen again. Including Walmart. Right on I pick. Coats over the stupid Chargers. That is the NFL pickup for the Christmas game season. It's game to big country.com. It's game to big country.com. Please don't forget about the sponsors. Don't forget about Podfest. Podfest.com. Podfest.com. Don't forget about Podcast Movement and Podcast Movement Evolution to March in Vegas and Podcast uh, Movement in Denver, Mile High City. Coming at ya. So, it's gate to big country.com. It's gate to big country.com. Podfest.com. Podcastmovie.com. This is the home of the best citizens on the net today. And yes, I can still say it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And I'm going to still say it, even if I get kicked in the head. Merry Christmas. Go there.